out on South Stelling and I'm looking at a very large redwood tree and the client has called me up because he's concerned that this tree may potentially fall down. Now this is a very large trunk on this tree. It's, uh, well, it's about six feet across at the butt. And in the lowlands, these redwood trees can grow extremely fast. I'd guess this tree to be, oh, maybe 50 to 60 years old. But the house appears to be fairly new. Um, I can only guess as to how old the house is, but I'd say it's within the last 10 to 15 years. So the stability of this tree is directly associated with the amount of potential damage to the root system. Now we know we've got a foundation that's about oh, 10 to 15 feet from the trunk all the way along and foundations are generally 18 inches deep. We also have another foundation over on this side. Now a tree of this size needs a root zone of 40 to 50 feet all the way around to sustain it. Now I'm sure there was some damage to the roots and I'm sure there was um, quite a bit of compromise during the construction. If you look up at the upper canopy of the tree, you can see that it's starting to decline. It's, uh, oh, probably only got about half of the foliage up in the upper canopy. The lower canopy still looks fairly full, but it's, uh, it's clear that there's something going on. And an educated guess based upon the environment here would be that the root zone has been altered and over time um, I would say that the tree has slowly declined because its, uh, its root zone is primarily concrete, foundation, driveways and there's a lot of hardscaping. And this very large tree needs a much larger area to absorb the moisture that it takes to sustain such a significant tree. Uh, the concern about whether or not this tree is going to be strong enough to stay here uh, that's a that's a tough call because I can only guess as to the condition of the roots whether there was any significant damage um, but it's it's very possible as close as this building is to the root zone um, I, I would say that there's probably been oh, a 50 I'd say a 50 percent loss of roots and when they put in all the driveways and all the hardscaping Contractors usually uh, strip it and they get all the surface roots out. So the fact that this tree's environment has changed so significantly, uh, I would say this tree is on a gradual course for, for decline and, and you're probably gonna see it go downhill. Now the comment that I always get is, what can I do, how can I save my tree? What it needs more than anything is um, resurrection of the root zone and it needs an adequate amount of irrigation. So unless you can supplement the irrigation to the areas that have been altered, those roots are never gonna get any moisture. It may hang in there for a while. It may linger for years and years and years. It takes a long time for a big tree like this to die. But if you don't start supplementing it and adding additional moisture, this tree will continue to decline. So. The areas of landscaping that you do have that are open, um, I would recommend at least once a week or once every couple of weeks at the very most through the summer, uh, water. And, and don't water the trunk of the tree. Water way out where the absorbing roots are. And you've got an area over here that you could water pretty good. You've got a little bit of a landscape area over here. Anywhere where you can put the hose out and let it seep down and get some deep irrigation. But you have to understand that this is a, a tree that likes a, a fairly moist environment. It belongs up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. They do very, very well down here in the lowlands, but they also grow much faster than they would normally because there isn't any competition. And I'm guessing that this was part of an old estate property because this tree, uh, as well as the Douglas fir that's over on that side, look like they've been here for a lot longer than these buildings. So these are all guesses based upon what I see. The buildings look, you know, if, if I'm gonna judge by that Japanese maple there, I, I would say that Japanese maple is about 15 years old. 
So about 15 years ago, this environment was altered. 